Well, this is Dan Zmanik from Silverside, and this is The Making of Motions. Hello, everyone. We've got Dan Zmanik in the studio from Silverside. Great to have you here. Thanks for having us. So a few questions about your upcoming release. Where was the record recorded? We actually recorded at GTW Recordings in Wisconsin with Joel Wanasek. What inspired you to make this record and take the role of an individual artist? That's an extremely interesting question. Um, you know, I've been in bands for years and years and years, and uh, I've always taken a secondary role. Like, I've either been the guitarist or the bassist, and I always wrote my own songs on the side, but they always kind of ended up going to the wayside. And uh, I started playing some of them out for people here and there, you know, at parties or you know, with bonfires or stuff like that. And my friends really started coming together and saying, hey, you know, I think you really got something here. And uh, I just really started working on my vocals and uh, making sure that those were up to caliber as the songwriting and the guitar playing and everything else. Did you perform all the instruments on Motions? Yeah, I, uh, I wrote and performed all the guitars, bass, and uh, sung on the record. And then my drummer, Steve Zwicka, performed all the percussion that's on the record as well, which is an absolutely terrifying experience because Steve is friggin' awful. No, I'm totally kidding. He's, he's, he's phenomenal. He's, he's a human metronome. But uh, we like to give him guff about it, so if you see him on the street, feel free to call him Small Time Steve. So my understanding is the songs were not all written at the same time. That's true. Um, the songs on the record are actually take place over a series of four years, which is an incredibly long time span to write a record in. However, you know, I really wanted my vocals to just really shine on this record and, you know, I felt like I wasn't quite there yet with my singing. And uh, so, you know, I spent the last couple of years just really working on my voice. In that time span, we actually had several other songs that I ended up writing that I'm like, man, this one really has to go on. And like choosing the songs that were going to go on this record just was a very difficult process. What do you want the fans of Silverside to get out of this record? You know, um, that's a really loaded question. Um, for me, music is is always my savior when I'm going through hard times. And, uh, you know, these lyrics are, are things I've gone through, pains I've felt, successes I've had. And I guess what I really just like to do is share my connection and those experiences with other people. So what are the future plans for Silverside? Can we expect some shows this summer? Absolutely. We just solidified, like, the perfect lineup in my opinion and uh we're you know we're about to start rehearsing and just getting ready for the summer and play some shows so um you know we're also going to be releasing the album and i'm just really happy to be able to share all this stuff with everyone so i guess i'll close this out um with a shameless plug uh we have a record coming out silverside motions june 25th will be on itunes we have physical and digital release so excited to share this with everybody. Come check us out on social medias. We are on Facebook, Twitter, silverside.com. And thank you for having us.